because I feel like it's hard to find people who truly understand you because a lot of the times we don't even understand ourselves and that's why we have therapists. I really like my hair like this. I look like a genie. Oh my God, there's a bug. There's a freaking bug. I feel like sometimes we think about like, what's gonna get us famous? What's gonna get us seen? What's gonna get us known? And I'm just like, bro, whatever. I really want to get famous. I really want to meet Ellen and go on Ellen. And I want, I'm always like, Lizzie, you need to make a, a skills video of you singing or dancing or something. But like, I just want to talk. But I just want to talk about my life and what I'm thinking about. And the feedback I did get was like, talk about your sister, please. I could talk about her forever. As this is Allison's birthday week, it just did not feel right to not make this a tribute to her. So get ready. I'm just wondering if I should get sappy or keep it funny. It's hard because I do both. Thank God you were born. Allison. Ah! Okay, everyone knows that I'm like, I'm obsessed with her. I actually have gotten some feedback that they're like, we're worried you're a little obsessed with her. These are my thoughts, okay? When you have someone who completely understands your soul and reasons why you do the things you do because they literally grew up with you and know you yeah you're gonna be a little obsessed with them it's hard to find people who truly understand you because a lot of the times we don't even understand ourselves and that's why we have therapists which brings me to my next point my sister is a therapist and she went into that profession literally I believe this is true I'll fact check this after but because of growing up with me and that does sound kind of bad I really relied on her for a lot to help me through everything. And I think it kind of showed her her passion in life, which is to help young people. So she literally has her own freaking practice now working with teens and she helps, she helps them and she helps their families and she educates parents on how to be with their children. Like it's literally amazing. It is amazing. I have so much of my life owed to her. It's so excited talking about it. I like need to take breaks. I'm like, I kind of like hyperventilate for a second. Anyway, the reason I went into dance is because of her. Because when you watch someone who you so admire your whole life, you kind of want to do what they do. She told me she liked red hair. Ah! Ended up being really great. I love it. I'm never changing it. I did that blonde thing for a second. No, I don't feel like that was, I don't feel like that was moving. Anyway, she was a dancer. She's still, she's a great dancer. And so I went to her dance studio and I found that passion there. And her just encouragement has led me to so many different places and things. One time I was really mad and I was like, I'm not doing this pageant. She was like, do it. And then I got first runner up. Yeah! That's not important. That does not help anything. That's, you know. She was a cheerleader, so I was a cheerleader. And not to say that I copied everything she did, but she gave me the allowance or whatever, allowed me to feel empowered to do whatever I wanted to do. She has inspired me in so many different ways and truly, I would not be any form of the person I am without her. And I'm really, really grateful. Allison is the freaking best at celebrating people. And it's kind of a lost art form. People sometimes don't even know how to do it. Let me just tell you right now, you need to celebrate the people in your life. However that looks to them is different. Me and Allison like to wear crowns and put fairy lights everywhere and tell each other we love each other and we're beautiful 1200 times a day. Some people feel celebrated by just bringing a coffee to them. It's good to know what your people like and how they like to be celebrated. That's what I love about Allison is she allows you to be your full sparkly or non-sparkly self. So you could tell her, you could be like, Allison, the other day I decided I wanted to put toothpaste all over my face because it feels good and it smells good. And she'd be like, great, what else did you do the other day? Like she just does no judgment. And it's so great. And I think especially being in a performer and growing up in kind of a judgmental arena, it was really helpful to have that energy in my life. My sister's been my sister for 24 years, right? Cause I'm 24, duh. Literally my first memory, my first memory ever is of her. Like she started taking care of me the second she was able to. She prayed for me. Like this little kindergartner was like, yes. Like she's loved me and celebrated me since I was in the freaking womb. Like, what did I do? I must have done something like really good in a past life to like deserve her as my sister. Like I saved a country or something because I don't know how I have her. And I was thinking this morning about like 
how God was making me and Allison, right? And he was like talking to Gabriel. He was like, Gabriel, those are my thoughts. I'm gonna make one chick who is gonna have red hair eventually and she's gonna try to get famous on YouTube. And she's gonna be a little emotionally complicated, but she's pretty funny. And, um, but she's gonna need, she's gonna need a partner. And Gabriel's like, yo, 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 what about the blonde one you made? Who's gonna literally save so many kids and help families and make people feel loved all the time. And God's like, yes, love that. And then God's like, so should we make them like best friends, should we make them coworkers? Like, what are we doing? And Gabriel's like, bro, you need to make them sisters cause the redhead is gonna need her literally the second she exits the womb. And God was like, you're totally right, good call. Like that is literally what happened because there is no way on this planet I would be able to achieve or do anything without her. She has lifted me. She's been the wind beneath my wings and now I fly. But I never truly feel the most myself, the most authentic or the most at home when, unless I'm with her. She is the absolute proof that you can find a home in a person. And truly, because our lives have been kind of crazy, we went through a lot of life changes um, before maybe other people should have to. I don't know, just say, just say. And we have had to make ourselves each other's homes because of circumstances that have pulled us apart. She just blows my mind. She just blows my freaking mind. She blows my mind. Allison, I'm so happy you were born and I love you. And I'm so grateful for this impact that you're gonna have on the world. And I asked your friends to put together some videos for you on your birthday and I'm gonna compile them and put them in this for you. This is truly a tribute to you and I'm so excited for what you get to hear them all tell you. I also am gonna be putting in some videos of what it's like living with her. And it's a party and it's full of fairy lights and it's full of excessive cleaning and her working because she works seven days a week helping people. Amazing. Yes! Yes! Your birthday's tomorrow! Yes! <laughs> Hi, Princess Allie. I just wanted to wish you a happy, happy, happy birthday. Um, I was just thinking about last year and how much fun we all had together um, with your family and um, just really, really missing that. And I really hope we can do it together again. And I hope you have the most fabulous day today with so much champagne and pink and glitter and all the amazing things you love and i cannot wait for us to celebrate again and do a fun maybe girls night out or girls night in um and just celebrate you and i hope i know this is not the ideal time for a birthday but i hope it still is special for you and know that i'm thinking of you and i love you and i miss you and can't wait to see you again so Happy, happy birthday. Oh, and Rob wishes you and Crusher wishes you. And I will make sure that he knows it's your birthday and um, that he sends you all his Crusher love. And I also hope you have an amazing, amazing tiara to wear today. Okay, love you and happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ali. Oh, I so wish I could be there to celebrate with you and to shower you with love, but we're all stuck because of this stupid virus. So I'm sending you love from here. Um, I'm so proud of you and everything that you've done this past year. I know it hasn't always been easy, but you've accomplished so much and gone through so much self growth and it really shines through. Just like your beauty and your compassion and your empathy for everybody around you. So I'm so happy I get to be a part of your life for a whole nother year and hopefully many more years after that. And just know, like I said, I'm loving you from here and we will celebrate together one day very soon. Okay, I love you. Happy birthday. We're laying, we're walking in the snow. <laughs> this is like, oh, this is like, um, this is like we're in a fairy land. Yeah. And then this one's like, we're at a rain. Happy birthday, Allison. I uh, had to use filter because it's one of those days, but I thought this was the perfect one for you. Um, I love you and I hope you have an amazing day. I'm sorry that we can't celebrate, but you're amazing and you're so beautiful. And I'm just happy to be a part of your life because you always have the perfect thing to say at the perfect time. And I just love you. Have a great day. See you soon. Allison, you cute, special, beautiful, 
birthday girl happy birthday you're amazing i'm so happy that you are in lizzie's life for her i love her i love you and now you're in my life and just have the best day ever for me please love you so much say that again Last time. Sure. You don't ever like get behind it or anything. I didn't know getting behind the toilet is cleaning the toilet. I thought just <laughs> cleaning the toilet is like the bowl. The toilet is the whole thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Allison. I'm so grateful to have you as a friend and as a dolphin sister. You are truly just like a radiant, happy, positive ball of sunshine and you light up every room you're in, not just because you're so much fun, but because you help people to see the best in themselves. I also really appreciate that you're so willing to dive deep with people, whether that's asking follow-up questions or noticing things about people that they don't notice about themselves, challenging people's opinions or bringing up difficult conversations. All of that is just such an amazing quality because it shows that you care. You value these deep, authentic relationships. And I'm so grateful to have a person like you in my life. Happy birthday. Allison and I lived together for a short period of time and it was always great having her around as, you know, coming home to a safe space, you know, physically your home, but also having a friend and a confidant who feels equally as safe. Um, there was so little judgment, you know, you really could air whatever you needed to in that moment. And um, there was a huge component where, you know, you didn't have to worry about someone taking it personally or it being too much, you know, it was always very natural, very organic. And I'm really fortunate to have her friendship and, you know, I'm just so happy that she was born. Hey Allison, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and say that I love you so much because of your uh, lust for life, your generous and caring personality, and your selflessness to dedicate uh, your life to taking care of people. I mean, what other better thing is that? And you're such a good sister to one of the best people in the world, Lizzie. <laughs> so the world would definitely be such a dimmer place without you, and we're so lucky to have you. Allison, I have been sitting here editing this video for Elizabeth. Um, I, I'm Lizzie's video editor, by the way, everyone. Um, and oh my gosh, you are so loved. Your sister loves you so much. And this is not a surprise because ever since the day I met you, you've just been the most caring, kind, accepting, welcoming, magical unicorn, butterfly princess, all of the magical things all bundled up into one cute little blonde. Happy birthday. And I'm so grateful to know you. She was truly made for me to get inspired by, really. She has driven through the night to come see me perform. She's like tried to like musicals for me. Allison, I know you don't understand or you know, like you're not super into the musical thing. I don't blame you, but it's like, she tells me she's like, I'm just happy if you're in it. I've never met someone who's more freaking supportive and will just gas you up. And she truly loves me. Like she literally loves me. Like it's wild to me. Like, I want to name my children after her, but I'm like, do I just copy and paste? Like, Allison Renee? Like, what do I do? She gives people grace. She's understanding. She's, she can think multidimensionally. She's amazing. She's literally born to do what she's doing. I'm just so freaking proud of her. She's a girl boss for sure. Everyone's like, Lizzie, you're so strong and independent. I'm like, pa! Pa! You know who's strong and independent? Allison Renee Sandy. God! Amazing. For being you thank you for being my sister thank you for teaching me how to be kind and how to be understanding towards others and how to have grace for myself and thank you for having grace for me for all those years i was not a walk in the park like i feel like i actually owe you a lot of money for all the free therapy you've given me and i'm just so proud of us and i'm proud of the work we've done in our relationship we truly are very very lucky to have one another thank you for stepping up and being there for both of your siblings when we needed you and doing it so seamlessly. I couldn't have done it. If we switched the birth order and it was me, you, Garrett, I'm sorry, like you would probably all be in jail. No, we would not be okay. You had to be the leader of the pack. You, you nailed it. You needed to be there. I think that's it. I think that's the video. 
I'm hoping. I don't know. I hope this was like funny and like, entertaining enough. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know if people are gonna be like, I was talking about someone, I don't know. Well, you need to know her. I'm sorry if you don't know her. Oh, that was bad. Kate taught me how to do that. Nope, not good, not, not happening. Just saying, if all of my followers here on Instagram subscribe, you don't even have to watch it. Because sometimes I don't even like watching myself. It's so good! <laughs> Allison likes watching <laughs> But I'm just saying, if you could just subscribe <laughs> and share it, that would mean a lot. Subscribe!